Guide to Successful Thesis and Dissertation Variables in Quantitative Research A variable refers to a characteristic or attribute of an individual or an organization that can be measured or observed and that varies among the people or organization being studied. This variance means that scores in a given situation fall into at least two mutually exclusive categories, Thompson, 2006. Variables often measured in studies include gender, age, socioeconomic status, SES, and attitudes or behaviors such as racism, social control, political power, or leadership. Independent variables are those that, probably, cause, influence, or affect outcomes. They are also called treatment, manipulated, antecedent, or predictor variables. Dependent variables are those that depend on the independent variables, they are the outcomes or results of the influence of the independent variables. Other names for dependent variables are criterion, outcome, effect, and response variables. Intervening or mediating variables stand between the independent and dependent variables, and they mediate the effects of the independent variable on the dependent variable. For example, if students do well on a research methods test, dependent variable, results may be due to a. their study preparation, independent variable, and slash or b. their organization of study ideas into a framework, intervening variable that influenced their performance on the test. The mediating variable, the organization of study, stands between the independent and dependent variables in the probable causal link. Moderating variables are independent variables that affect the direction and slash or the strength of the relationship between independent and dependent variables, Thompson, 2006. These moderating variables are new variables constructed by a researcher by taking one variable and multiplying it by another to determine the joint impact of both on the dependent variable, e.g., age x attitudes toward quality of life impacting self-esteem. These variables are typically found in experiments. Two other types of variables are control variables and confounding variables. Control variables play an active role in quantitative studies. These are a special type of independent variable that researchers measure because they potentially influence the dependent variable. Researchers use statistical procedures, e.g., analysis of covariance and COVA, to control for these variables. They may be demographic or personal variables, e.g., age or gender that need to be controlled so that the true influence of the independent variable on the dependent can be determined. Another type of variable, a confounding, or spurious, variable, is not actually measured or observed in a study. It exists, but its influence cannot be directly detected. Researchers comment on the influence of confounding variables after the study has been completed, because these variables may have operated to explain the relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable, but they were not or could not be easily assessed, e.g., a confounding variable such as discriminatory attitudes. In a quantitative research study, variables are related to answer a research question, e.g., how does self-esteem influence the formation of friendships among adolescents, 
or to make predictions about what the researcher expects the results to show. These predictions are called hypotheses, e.g., individual positive self-esteem expands the number of friends of adolescents. This video credit to author, John W. Cresswell. Name of book, Research Design, 4th edition. I strongly recommend all PhD researcher to read this good book. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if this is helpful.